Hockey Canada is honoring hockey heroes in communities across Canada. This is Jennifer and Drew's story. And finally, what's the one thing I always end with in terms of playing this game? Have fun. Okay? If it isn't fun, we're all wasting our time here. Okay? Jennifer and Drew James live that motto every day. That's why in September alone, the couple has spent at least 100 hours at the local rink in CARP before the season in the Ottawa region even gets started. Jennifer, in boardrooms and behind the scenes, Drew evaluating and placing kids on the correct teams. They are pillars in the hockey community that colleagues and friends say have an unwavering dedication to the game. She's always there helping. Uh, there's nothing that she will say no to. So Jennifer will go out of her way to make sure everybody has a positive experience with hockey. Drew will, will see the way somebody learns and, and he'll, he'll tailor whatever needs to be taught to them to the way that they learn. A lot of what they do is unseen to the public eye. They do so much behind the scenes and they make our, they make our program better. Jennifer wears a number of hats, from sitting on the MHA board to liaising with team managers to ensure they know what to expect during the hockey season. But perhaps her most enjoyable role is being a team manager herself, a role she's held for the last 10 years. The most satisfying part too is seeing how quickly if you take the time to invest in um, making even just a few extra events for the, the, the families that the, the whole team just clicks. The players click quicker, the families become truly a hockey family and then it just makes the season so much more fun for everyone. And it's not just team events that Jennifer organizes that bonds the parents together. I think the kids need to know that you are supporting them through, you know, your cheering. And we've been blessed with having a bunch of crazy parents that all like to cheer. We have what Drew called my cheer bag, and it literally has pom-poms that are black and yellow and clappers and tambourines, and even at midget level, my parents are still willing to take them out and cheer on the kids. And, and the kids notice. And for Jennifer and Drew, it's all about the kids. I don't do it for the appreciation or anything. I, I really do enjoy helping the kid be able to do something that he previously couldn't do. You know, and when he finds that success, we had a defenseman last year, and uh, same thing. He came from a lower level. He was always passing the puck away. Always pat. He would never, you know. And by the end of the year, I had taught him how to shoot, and then he was scoring goals and calling for the puck. And I like so when you see stuff like that, the confidence in his game, you know. Every time I go on the ice, he's always teaching me new things, whether it be you know, improving something or just learning something new. He's always encouraging me to learn new things and it's just, it's always fun when you go on the ice with him. Every year, the boys that he have all come back. You know, at the, at the, uh, at the midget level or whatever, you start having the uh, kids drop off. Uh, they get tired of hockey, you know, they're not enjoying it. He's making it so enjoyable every year that everybody comes back because they, they want to have him as a coach again. The James family admits they spend most of their winter months at the rink, but they do it together. It's just extra time together instead of just sitting at home in front of the TV or the kids on the computer. We're in the car, we're talking about their day. It's just we're all together and I think it brings you closer as a family because you, instead of everyone doing their individual things, you are all together.